last time. No zombies allowed. What do you want? What are we doing in the metro tunnels? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elite. We've got rights, and we'll take them if. You in these tunnels. Why try to get into Tenpenny anyway? Rules aren't built for luxury and comfort. Is you got a lot? I'd be able to get you in there. I already got a plan. They think. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnel. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe you wouldn't mind you living there. Ah, those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with... But by all means... Try talking to Tenpenny if you like, but it won't work. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on you. What about Tenpenny? What up? I think I can convince them to let you leave. You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll... Tell me, what's it like being a Jew? You better choose your next words, really. I don't, I don't mean to offend. I am not prejudiced. Sure, whatever you say. Really, I mean, don't care. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul, like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So... How's it going now? Yeah, best get on your way. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Ten Penny doesn't want your goddamn cap, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Ten Penny's private property. That's how you choose all your guests. Uh-huh. It's Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a wink rat like you? Have a look at chip both for off of Tenpenny. Let me in or is it going to regret it? Right, right. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid, stupid. eh? All right. Um. You got something to say? What can you tell me about? Like living, like living at Tenpenny Tower. Tenpenny is always on time with money, and we can get very comfortable digs with side benefits. Tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. Don't you forget it. About non supply. Want to do some trade? I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. 
All right, let's see what you have. Um, Another satisfied customer. Uh. I've met them, uh, Roy Phillips and those other girls don't seem all that bad. Look, kid, I don't care what you think about them. Okay. Fair enough. I've seen to do that. Watch yourself. Good to see you. I'm on duty, can't talk. Direct your Okay, so here's the hit shot. Bravo. Hi. Tenpenny generator room. Is there a tenpenny suit? Wait. God. Uh. Tiffany Chang. My name is Tiffany Chang. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Chang. And you could tell him I said so. You'd have a lot with a lot from your husband, huh? Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! Hmm. He made himself chairman of That's course. so. What we need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? Stop worrying about those ghouls. I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. What's it like living at Tin Paint? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Know anything about these ghouls? They are living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? Well, natural to be afraid of the unknown. Perhaps you're right, but I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. Okay. Good uh, well, well, Susan Lancaster. We here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted That's supposed to me. in the near future. You bet. I like meeting new people. Me too. Especially. I'm not Listen, that. 
You look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here, after all. You ever... Rules aren't so bad once you get to know them. Fine. Never mind. I thought you were a real man. Turns out you're just a scared boy. Sorry about boy. that. I like living in a tenpenny tower. Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed up fogies. I earned. Right? Um. Those rules show how people worked up, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? Yeah, about that. I'm not really in the ghoul extermination business. Only in the feral ghoul. Feral ghoul roamers. Rural Reavers, Rowan Ones. I was hoping we could get to know each other better. Ugh. How would you feel about having a few ghouls? I've come too far to share my digs with some droopy ghoul. Right, these ghouls, they aren't so bad. Well, if you don't mind their stink, then you should go squat with them in their dirty tunnels. And leave us civilized. This is happening, you're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. I'm done with the Wasteland, and I've been everywhere else. There isn't anything better than this. Damn you and your ghouls. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk to Tenpen, and when he does come back, I'll make sure he's... I'll just send up for my food. I'll never even have to look at you or your ghoul. Yeah, the life. That's the. Uh, we are in the uh, campaign tower at the moment. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so place is darker. Inventory. Okay, so I suppose that this containment door I saw right now was in which, uh, by which uh, ghouls, feral ghouls, bring, come from. I don't have a, have a good word with in Penny. Careful. I feel bold. At. Our best must be measured. Okay. 
supplies. Hey, those clothes are atrocious. You should stop by my shop, new urban apparel, and freshen up that look. Upgrade to fabulous. Are you worried about those ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too... S they live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps... How would you feel about having a full of few ghoul neighbors? You can't be serious. Ghouls aren't human. They live really? in filth. So? They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. I've met this civilized and cool. Why would you hang out with dirty vermin like that? You enjoy sifting through feces. You know it's only a matter of time before they get hungry and eat you. You're crazy. Ghouls will never live in Tenpenny Tower. Well, uh, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced. You'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Sure, you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. The only suitable place is Ten Penny Tower. Everywhere else stinks. The Banfield. I'm off duty. Come back when. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? It's like living. All right. People are healthy here. They eat well. A little shop at that, by how healthy everyone looks. Ten Penny is very selective about who he allows to live here. The correct genes and clean water is still a concern, of course. But we've got enough chems to keep the radiation sickness at bay. Sure. That's why he won't allow those ghouls to live here. Why introduce a weakness into a healthy system? Hell. Sure, they look a little weird, but they're not the cis vermin. Well, uh, I guess I must confess, I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. Uh, how much about those ghouls? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually and be the proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human f They can't be cured. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. Oh, all in all. I don't suppose you've consulted any ghouls on your theory. Well, not exactly. But my colleagues... Papers. I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? I might even finally get public... I'm not... not... Over with you. I really hope you aren't hurt. Yeah. Um, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I'm not sure. My first responsibility is the health and welfare yeah. of the residents sure. of Tenpenny Tower. 
Ghouls often carry diseases due to radiation, damaging their immune system. Yeah, I've met the ghouls. They seem healthy. Good. Well, if they don't mind me giving them a thorough exam, and if they agree to follow any directives I give them regarding health and hygiene, I suppose I wouldn't mind too terribly. It'd give me a chance to study ghoul physiology. Yeah. Tell Mr. Tenpenny that you would find ghoul. Sure, no problem. Tell me about at least her company. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Wait, don't tell him I said that. Cool. Oh. Hey, Doc, what do you know about the basement area? There's those access tunnels that lead underground. Those are sealed by a door. Then there is some place down there where they keep the generator. Huh. Occasionally, something goes wrong down there and we lose power. Then Bert goes out and finds a technician. We haven't had any blackouts in a while. If you want to get into the gen room, you'll need to talk to Gustavo. Though I doubt he'll take you on a tour or let you wander around down there. You feel my radiation? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. Yeah, easy 100 and caps. A quick do it. Shot. All done. All right, I have to go now. Try not to break anything important. Down. I see. Here's. Nice. Coach, what are you doing? Lydia Montenegro. I am Lydia Montenegro. I'm sure you've heard of me in my shop, Boutique Le Chic. Le Chic. We know. Obviously, you don't travel in the right circles. I can't oh. talk now. Visit me at the boutique during business hours. Business hours. This better not be a waste of my... All right, all right. Um... Tell me about Alice Tits and Pen. He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. Good like living at Tin Penny Tower. Ten Penny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find okay, okay. top shelf class Fair like enough. that anywhere else. I think the tower is still structurally sound. Indeed. Though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it. And he's hired okay. security to keep us safe. Uh, I've seen it. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the Ach. tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? Well, that. Who's all, all right? What? Have you lost oh. your mind? Are you, uh, wait, are you afraid of the ghouls trying to get into Tenpenny? If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. Huh. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Um, how would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You're being serious? That's out of the question. What an absurd notion. I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and put right. I think you must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying? <sighs> well, this is happening whether you like it or not. You're going to have to deal with it and get all get forced out. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Hurry. Don't worry? Did you just step out of a vault? Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed. My fault? And it's not all so your sure fault. about. Anyway. Oh, 
harder at Primrose. Do you know around uh. here? I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Tell me about Alice Tetson Penny. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination mm. with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich. No salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. It's like living at Tim Tower. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place mm. to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. I understand. But then Cafe can Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? What have they done? I think they've proven something for staying alive in that condition. I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. You should. Now I feel a little ashamed. Those rules have you stressed out too? Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. What do you feel about having a few ghoul names? I've heard they carry diseases. I'd have to sanitize everything after them all the time. No. Besides, Not they are dangerous, that. aren't they? Be honest. Why did they get themselves clean and didn't bother anyone? I don't know. As long as they don't cause trouble. And they'd have to try to fit in with our established community. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. Tell Mr. Tenpain that you wouldn't find ghoul. I guess so, sure. You ever go down to the base? I haven't, but every so often, Gustavo takes someone down there to work on the generators when we lose power. That hasn't happened in a while, hmm. though. Okay. Good one now. Bon appetit! appetit. Thank you. You go back. That matters. Um. Yes. That. Hey, Ten Penny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? Uh. Well, oh, okay. And there first. Go to ten. All right. Hey. Oh. That banner. Handles banners. Ten Penny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? I would surely have perished if it Anyways. wasn't for Mr. Ten Penny and his tower. Of let of letter. My dear Susan, I can't believe I'm writing this. I can't help it. I can't sit any longer. Stop thinking about it too. Even when I'm face God can same time what can something so wrong be so right? I must or different now. Only two. If this is real, so real, I don't think it in was truly in forever. W. This. Yeah. Water. Here 
for your entertainment. All right. Stupid. If if I wanted, I could just kill all of them. But you know, like my uh. Ah, hello. I'd like to make good trauma in. Okay. Or, question it. Oh, darling, may the twilight of your life be sealed under an adventure as you. And Craddy. Little Craddy. King of Rockable, offered Argyle in Delta Action Center of 48. We settled the city for the starter and we resolved to watch a world in a couple of years later, but Craddy didn't take it to us luring slavers into the town city. It was the last time I ever saw Argyle. Right after he saved my hide, time is Penelope Chase. Penelope Chase, too, I mean. I should have what you deserve. Let's see, Chow. Uh, how low are its limbs? Creator of Blue Destiny Ruffle. One of the loveliest women I've ever had the pleasure to pleasure. Right. Sadly, she died from cholera in the summer of 49. An event that blows down the bubble. I'll die. Best man servant if I could ask for. Off. Oh, good man. I would like that rot meat. The cool gun. That's a cool Last time I was in Markable, it's the chase ago. I know it's still up there, so. Armin Jerley. Slave leader and cytolic cannibal. Church at 1250. Entry in Paradise Falls. Back. Places. Paradise Falls. Most dangerous. Dangerous dump after Wasteland. Slavers there would. Bought and sold anything that holds the still will anymore. Back in my day, they were more organized. Leader was a guy named Common Jolly. I thought some of the was rumored to slaves he could sell. Artopolis. Underground city. Bad not a bad the but their leader came back into appellations with his own good. Okay, so I Accidentally led the slaves there and those bastards. The place out. It was an honest mistake. Blue Destiny Bravo. Best and war house in the capital wasteland. Home booth. Tough women. Put down the sun. Most of the ladies died from a cholera outbreak. Underworld. City of the dead or undead. I would believe. Underworld was a settlement of ghouls. Established in an old arm and system of virgin. Argyle and I used to go there quite a bit. I was in voted honor rule back in. I really should go back in sometime. At the time, town built around an undetonated atomic bomb might have place. At the time, it's pretty well 45 now, but back in my day, it was ramshackle. It place to grab a drink. Uh, I hear Moriarty own place now, because that shouldn't surprise me. I had to since they came up in this country as a kid. Tests. Oh, my alerts. Goddamn walking crabs. Uh, tough to kill, but pretty, pretty delicious afterwards. The other trappers is built to penetrate. Oh, that was a good thing their faces an armored armed island. Such a right jab. Feral ghouls. Ghouls gone bad. The brains had rotten through so much the ability to trade. How do I know if I'll be bastard? Now, I think he actually liked to kill me. Well, I started 
Das ist gut. Wenn ich bin, dort wo sind die Fischen? Uh, Red Scorpions. I've been a lot of, I've been a lot of places today, and everywhere you see Red Scorpions. Rumor was the Emperor Scorpion. I'm pretty much the name of the Scorpion account. Arms bell. It's a cassette spring to their population. Uh, Yao Guai. Yes, or the people who place lands are crazy. I'm not going to find a bouncing big rubber ball low. That much. Cars are suspicious. Razor sharp cars. Nasty, nasty. Rubber brain. I have to admit, Wolf has been fascinated. It's such an ingenious robot power. Brain is such a choice. Of course, I always had to wonder where they brains. They actually brains of Sitsi. That's all buildings. Anyway, I got hit by one of their mind spawns. Oh, I had it. Three days. It's toys. Has a kid? Had a kid? Hello. Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else okay. does. Daring. Daring, bet you had to earn that nickname, huh? Maybe you've heard the GL radio, radio play. play? The yeah. Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood. Hmm. That's about me, you know. Based on my um hey. earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask okay. you. You ever met a ghoul before? Um. Sure. I met some ghouls. People try to get by. Ah. You already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Yeah. Did. Mention something about Giannaldo. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood. That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Hmm. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. Huh. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. Same. We've been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Does it like living in Tinpenny Tower? Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated yeah. egos floating around. Thing. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Oh. The problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. I bet you know a thing or two about the school. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't well, care. No. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protector. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security.
How do you feel about having a few boonies? Well, I wouldn't mind, but they better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. Yeah. So you wouldn't mind if some civilized ghouls moved in? Like I said, it's fine by me. Oh. Yeah, could you say that to Mr. Tinpenny? Of course. I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an yeah. interesting vacation that destination. Is. Do you know anything about the basement in Emerge's um, uh -huh. tunnels? So you've been exploring the tower. Well done. Let's just say that Gustavo is not the only one with a key for the generator room. Are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Well, it does get a trifle bit boring around here. And to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? Well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? Good luck. I want to play games. Can I please just borrow the key? I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine. But you better not get caught with that. Yep, not getting caught is my second name. Go make a name for yourself. Well, already, uh, already, uh, friend of the people. Been into any adventures recently? Don't oh, no. So, I think it's ten pennies to be uh, right here. Let's draw well in direction. Listen to I still need to go back to me and me. Hello, dear. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or okay. My Lady Wellington. It's very nice to meet you. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? Um... I'd rather spend time with ghouls than... I do hope you're not referring to me. I'm certainly a better conversationalist well, than some depends. stupid ghoul. And I smell better, too. Found a love letter. I think you'll want to see it. Oh my God, this can't be real. But it's in his handwriting. Oh my God. He's dead. I'll kill him. This isn't happening. Um. You broke. You may speak to me, and please don't be tedious. Yeah. Um. Things haven't been the same since those ghouls showed up. Has everyone on edge? Anything interesting about the ghouls? Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them. Doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. How do you feel about having a few ghouls? My neighbors might be out of their minds, but I am not. Those ghouls Elba. will not be Elba. living here. It's happening. Damn it. This can't be happening. 
Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, oh. and scum like you. Fool of yourself. Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? Well, um, we found something beautiful. I already did. I hope one of your ghouls. We'll see about that. No! Well, hey. I don't know where I'm so sadly. We have that. Where will I go? So, um, I suppose that this in mind, if I sided with, uh, Birch, you know, destroying Megaton. But, yeah. Like this. Press me out. Irving Cheng. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How Hell. can I help you? How that? Nice to meet someone with a sense of civic duty. Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree that people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, 
I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate oh, the problem. Oh, yeah. So he's the one. We're about the schools, comrade. Relax. Perhaps you're right. My wife is always going on about how crazy I make her. And um, slightly being at tinfoil. All right. Well, comrade, things are great. The best of the best have made a community here. Well, there is that problem with the ghouls, but I think it'll be solved soon enough. Yeah. What do you think of the whole situation with the ghouls? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. Do you feel bad having a few ghoul neighbors? You finally got around to asking me, comrade. I've given it a lot of careful thought. I would welcome these ghouls into our community. I've already formed a welcoming committee. Well, Mr. Timpani, that you wouldn't mind. All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Into the draw. Later. Oh, please stop. And? Sweets are... I don't know what the call specifically. Find out soon. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to sit in penny, um, but if you are so incompetent, know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if ten penny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. I don't need that professional style. I already have a hundred. Going to now is not the best time. Perhaps we could parlay some. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Timpenny. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Tell some ghouls. What do you think about that? Why? I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? What if the residents are okay with ghoul neighbors? <laughs> I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehave. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along Wait. with your novel proposition. Tell yeah. you what. If you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. You 
you have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. Oh, yeah. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your trouble. Kill Roy for rules. How do I kill Roy Phil? Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. F This better be important. You feel about having a few cool names? Hell no. Ten penny won't allow. Well, uh, but how about I take my orders this? this? He'd be out of his goddamn mind. And like I said, ultimately I work for him, so whatever he says goes. But I wouldn't like it. You don't don't do any. to see you. All right. I know what I Morning. I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. What's the status on those tenpenny bigots? Section chair of things you can do it now. I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our pharaoh brethren if you meet any. Cool mask. Best get on your way. Oh, hello there, Ken. I used to be. People stop wanting to be around you, though, when it's. Oh. Morning. Hey, kid. I was wrong about you. Good job. 
Well, this stuff is mostly crap, but whatever. Hey there, bud. Thanks again. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. That's supposed to sound impressive. I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Give them hell. What's that, then? Who met? I'll have to test that out. Uh, okay. Reach him. Fire beam laser. Oh. Oh, wrong. Tenpenny Tower. Hey. Oh yeah, what happened? Tower. Humans and living to Hey, you're the one with the ghoul friends. Well, I guess they're yeah. our friends now, too. Yeah, I've been doing that. Like living in Tin Penny Tower. It's swell. Those new neighbors of ours like to drink almost as much as I do. And boy, do they have some real good stories. Oh, you're leaving now? Okay. Bye bye. You're all my husband talks about now. Do you have any idea how annoying that is? I guess I don't mind those ghouls as much as I thought I hey. would. Hey. Bye now. It's uh. We're transported the move along. Face. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. What's your whistle? I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Another drink. I see, sir. 
Very well. May I pour you a drink? But I listed. He is the right. Right. Or at least. Good now. Cheers. Hey there. Hi again. What's it like living in It's wonderful. Roy was right. This is the way to live. Don't know how you did it. I'd never allow those zombies room and board. But as long as Ten Penny keeps paying me, I'll stay. Yeah. How's it going now? I still got my eye on you. Hey, hello, friend. Ghoul physiology is fascinating. Just like Leviathan. People are happy and healthy for the most part, and those ghouls make great case studies. Did I mention I'm working on an important dissertation? Okay. That's the business. I have some first aid supplies I can sell. Nothing more. Good now. Remember, just say no to drugs. You know, but. If we spread them, that's all right. Okay. Hey. Hello. Where he went. Hey, hey there, bud. Likely we didn't. Beats the wasteland and thirty tunnels. That's for damn sure. You know. Give him hell. Well, if it isn't our hero. That's the floor. That's it. Happen. Tell me. Is it possible? Can Alistair die? I'm on 
duty can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. Hello. Ah, hello. What do you need? Oh, that. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Thanks for helping those ghouls. They really aren't so bad. Hi. Poor you neighbors aren't so bad after all. And they have big appetites, so that's good for the cafe. It's something. What are you in the mood for? Okay. Okay. Have a good Hey there. 